Hey, what's up guys? I'm um, just bringing you a quick video here. Um, I'm in my bathroom, so it's a bit echoey, but what I'm gonna show you guys is my 3D printer. Um, now, I've had this 3D printer for a fair few years now, I think. Um, maybe five years now. So I've had it for a while and it's, it's getting a bit old, but it's still quite handy for printing off um, some of those, I guess, items that I might need to do. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly show you um, the 3D printer itself. I'm gonna do some more videos on doing some upgrades to it uh, over the next, I guess, few videos or whatever. Um, and you'll see some time lapses of some prints that I'm gonna do. It's just because of the noise, I'm just kind of hid it away um, in the back bathroom where no one will hear. Um, but basically, this is a, I believe it's called a Mancaddy or something along those lines. The company itself has actually been bought out now um, by another Chinese company. Um, I got it originally for around, I think it was around $2,000. Um, which at the time was quite pricey um, for its size because it does do if I get this cover off the bed itself was I think it was about whatever that is 30 by 30 so I had to dub over this part guys because I covered the hole on the camera that picks up the audio but the main reason I purchased this one is because of the height but if I just push this down as you can see, the height in which you can get in this one's pretty good. I think it's about 250 by 250 by 300. So you can get some big prints in there if you need them. I haven't done anything that high, but it does most stuff that I'm after, which is good. What I did do as well is I built this little stand, put some caster wheels on it so I can roll it around and get it between one room and another. Um, but the printer itself, all the mechanism and all the electronics is inside underneath so when you see me pull it apart in another video you'll see the internals of that but basically you'll have your SD card which inserts in the front an LCD screen which you can choose from your options your power switch on the side and this one's actually a dual extruder um, which if I can get it to focus there so I've only really used one extruder at the moment I don't really do dual extruder printing um, but basically how this works for anyone that doesn't know the extruder itself will move from left left to right back and forward and there's a if I spin the printer around there's a servo motor here which um, will actually feed the plastic up and down through the hose which actually pushes it in and out of that hot extruder um, and then the bed itself will start to move down as it's building the layers and it'll build layer upon layer which you'll see further on now i've also done a few little uh, little hacks myself because i've had to replace these connectors i've also had to replace this wheel um, which i actually 3d printed um, now on the back I've just got a spool of black PLA um, and I've got a few other spools of ABS PLA and also a wood um, filament as well so I'll do those all in different videos and try some things out. I've also got to print up something for one of the one of the guys from work. I was going to print something up for him so I'll do that in a video as well but if I turn this on you can hear the fans start to spool up underneath. So I might have to talk a bit louder so you can hear me. But the screen itself, the LCD, will tell you the temperature of the uh, extruders. We'll know the temperature of the hotbed, because um, this is a heated hotbed. There's actually a heating uh, pad that's installed on the glass that allows for the plastic to stick to it better. Um, and you can go through and select all the options and if I want to prepare and send it back uh, to home you'll see the extruder will start to uh, move around to find its right spot and the bed will move itself up until it reaches the top. Um, 
So pretty straightforward. You can see there's a lot of failed prints down the bottom or bits of scraps that I need to clean out. So I'll do that as well. Um, I've got a few little tools lying around like the screwdrivers and um, little pliers and scrapers and things like that. So I'll just stop that. Um, there's plastic covers on the front to keep the heat in on this model. Um, that way the heat that stays inside helps for the uh, print to actually stick to the bed um, and not peel off. Um, if it gets too cold, there's some things that can happen with prints where they start to um, like peel off on one side and um, it's not quite good. It basically just ruins the print and you've got to start again. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. There's nothing too fancy with this one. There's some new models out now which I've seen which have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connections and you can watch cameras internally and all that stuff. You know, that was all long before... Um, well, I purchased this one long before all that stuff came out in printers, so um, who knows one day I might upgrade this one. Um, but for the moment, it's doing the job. You're going to see some videos of me printing some stuff soon, so um, hopefully you enjoy those. And, and um, if I get enough people liking those, and if it's quite a good little... Uh, Thing for me to do I might uh, upgrade my printer or we'll see what happens and um, yeah we'll go from there so so that's a quick intro of my 3d printer I'll see about getting some more videos up on that um, and fiddle around with it do some upgrades on it and we'll go from there all right we'll catch you guys next time zoom out Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, hit that like button or you can subscribe by hitting the button up here. Now I've also got a couple more videos up here on this side and I've also got my cryptocurrency channel over here. So go check that out. But thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.